When we're on wind watch, we're looking for all locations where the winds might be sufficiently high for us to meet the requirements of our crosswind landings. When we're coming down, we have the airplane crabbed into the wind so that the airplane, basically the center line, continues to track straight ahead towards the runway. And then during the transition from uh, approach to landing, we align the airplane nose with the runway center line and we land the airplane. We're looking to establish the maximum amount of crosswind that we can find and we can demonstrate. Those are used by our customers, the airlines, a very important number to get. The conditions are pretty rare. Everything has to come together perfectly. So the airplane has to be ready to go test. The crew has to be ready to go test. We have to have practiced the conditions in our simulator as a team before we're ready to go test at the location where the crosswinds are. We had our meteorologists looking for these conditions for weeks, if not months ahead, trying to find a situation where the storm conditions would be advantageous for crosswinds. We were hoping that they would end up to be as extreme as they were and that we weren't disappointed.